I'm first going to draw for you the structure of peptidoglycan in a gram-positive cell. Remember, there's gram-positive and gram-negative. So here is what gram-positive peptidoglycan looks like. The first thing we have are alternating sugars. Okay, the first one I'm going to draw here in blue. This one is called NAM, N-A-M, and it stands for N-acetyl muramic acid. The second um, sugar, remember it's alternating, I'll do it in red. This one is called NAG, N-A-G, and this stands for N-acetylglutamic acid. So what it's gonna look like, remember alternating, so we're gonna have um, a blue, so that's a NAM, and it's going to be attached to a NAG, and it's going to look like this. You get the picture. All right, they're going to alternate NAM and NAG and red is nag. Now we're not gonna have just one layer of this, we're gonna have many layers. So here's another layer of the same thing. And really the best way to learn this is by drawing it yourself. So draw it with me so that you can memorize it, okay? So that's our first thing, alternating NAMs and NAGs, and we're going to have many layers. I'm not going to draw more than more layers. You get the picture. Our next thing we have, I'm going to put in green here. Off of every NAM, there's four amino acids. So these green little balls, these are amino acids. Okay, remember, amino acids make up protein. So because there's four of them, we call this the tetrapeptide, the tetrapeptide chain. And there's a tetrapeptide chain attached to every NAM and only the NAM. So they attach to the NAMs. All right, so every NAM here is going to get this tetrapeptide. The last thing we have, and this is, remember, we're talking about uh, gram-positive peptidoglycan. So this is gram-positive, don't forget. And I'm going to draw this one in, what color didn't I use? Um, do I have like a purple? Purplish? Okay, the last thing we have, attached to the tetrapeptide, is another chain of amino acids. And this links together the tetrapeptides. Okay, so here in purple, the purple dots, these are amino acids that are gonna link the tetrapeptides together. And there's going to be five of them. So it's a chain of five, five amino acids that link the tetrapeptides. And usually I call this the, uh, the cross bridge. Okay, this peptide cross bridge that's gonna link everything together. So let me go to a prettier picture because this is looking like a sloppy mess. So pretty picture up here, all right? 
Here we have again, alternating nags and nams. Off of every nam, we're gonna have a tetrapeptide, four amino acids. One, two, three, four. And then connecting the tetrapeptide is a chain of five more amino acids. One, two, three, four, five. Okay? And remember, there's many layers of this. So over here, you can see it's going to be huge, okay? Many layers of alternating nags and nams. And then we have in here these teeny little uh, tetrapeptides and then connected by that cross bridge. Okay, so that's the gram-positive peptidoglycan. Let's talk about gram-negative real quick. So gram-negative, it's going to look the same. So again, we're going to have these alternating nags and nams, just like you did before. And they're all attached to each other. Again, we're going to have that um, tetrapeptide that's coming off of all the NAMs. Now here's where the difference comes in. Okay, so the main difference here. And this will be important later, you'll see why. The gram negative do not have that five amino acid cross bridge. So no five amino acid cross bridge. I keep spelling bridge wrong. Instead, they just directly connect to one another. It's a direct connection. Okay, so again, let's go to a pretty picture. Here on the right here is the gram negative. Okay, you can see the alternating nags and nams, the tetrapeptides on all the nams, but here we have this direct cross, uh, this direct linkage, okay, no amino acids. And again, here's gram positive, the alternating nags and nams, the tetrapeptide, and here we have the five amino acid chain. Okay, so make sure you know the that general structure here and the main difference here is the is that five amino acid bridge versus the direct connection. Let's watch one more video um, that will kind of conclude the peptidoglycan in bacteria. So we're focusing here a video within the video. Here we go. Yeah. Peptidoglycan forms a thick layer over the inner cell membrane. Peptidoglycan is a polymer whose molecules are cross-linked by amino acids to form a protective grid over the cell membrane. The peptidoglycan layer gives the cell its shape and strength and counteracts internal osmotic pressure from the cytoplasm. Without peptidoglycan, the cell would rupture and die. In gram-negative bacteria, the peptidoglycan layer is much thinner and is located in the periplasmic space between the inner plasma membrane and an outer membrane. Okay guys, so uh, watch next the cell wall video and we'll continue uh, learning about the gram-positive and gram-negative cell.